All right, episode seven. Welcome back. This is the Mike and Max Off Road Podcast. I'm Max Kraus, and I'm Mike Austin, and we're taking you from the garage to the trail. Oh my god, that was not beautiful. Beautiful, wasn't it? Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> all right, best thing I heard all day. Me too. Woo! We're doing it. So, what's today about? Today is about the Moab trip coming up. Yep, you're going to Moab. Yep, our first guest ever. Steve's going to Moab. Daryl's going to Moab. Orange Chris is going to Moab. White Chris. White Chris. Don is going to Moab. Probably forgetting somebody. Don's, I know. I, Dennis. Dennis is going to Moab. Yeah. I don't get to go. Yeah, my boy's going to come over from Colorado and meet me and help That's me awesome. film. That's awesome. Jared, yeah. Yeah. I'm not taking my Jeep because I'm filming. It's going to be good. We should have some good content. Who goes to Moab without their Jeep? I know, right? That's retarded. <laughs> I should beep that. Re- I like the whisper, the whisper effect. That was, <laughs> whisper out. Is that a graphic? Chris. I don't no. know. Tell you the truth. Did you say whisper out? Yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> sort of the guys from Snail Trail. He's like, yeah, nice for the whisper out. Wow. You have to look at the YouTube video comments. Thanks, um, I bet you, because I saw it on a podcast. I, I wonder if they watched that same one also. Mm. That'd be interesting. To yeah, know. maybe. But yeah, so we're going to Moab. Um, I'm not taking my Jeep because um, I'm going to go and it's way easier to film and, yeah. and take video when you're not driving. And it's also relaxing. Yes. Like you get to do all the trails. You get to hang out with people that you like, yep. our friends that we already know in a nice house. I was just telling Jared, it was funny. I was telling him today, literally we leave in like two days and I haven't done any laundry. <laughs> I haven't done zero planning. My Jeep's still sitting there like just crickets on it. And it's like, uh, well, the Jeep can sit there. That's I know. okay. It's awesome. Like I have zero planning. I'm just going to wash my clothes, throw them in a bag and wing the rest of it. So that's all you need. Well, yeah. you need your camera. Yeah. The camera some equipment, right? You need that kind of straightened out yeah the only thing i have to do is throw the drone up in the air make sure it's all good to go and then but steve's bringing his as a backup nice and then i'm going to use the osmo for the vlog so i'm going to try and vlog this i'm going to try and do vlogs daily vlogs yeah that's the plan or what you're going to try you're yeah gonna, so maybe every other daily vlog well you know what it is is i mean anybody's ever been willing is known shit you could break and you could be in there until yeah. the next morning yeah. you know what i mean exactly so that's clearly not going to get a vlog that day but i mean if anything we're going to have some good content i'm going to try to vlog as much as we can nice. if we break down i might even throw out a podcast live who knows oh you know what i mean broke down <laughs> yeah, <dude>. on, <laughs> let me look metal masher right well i shouldn't say that that's like a jinx yeah, yeah i shouldn't say that. i would like to know so our plans are for the trails we're gonna run these trails we don't know what day or what order yet but but we're gonna wheel for five days that's right? it yeah five days so we'll be there month we're gonna you know there's a drive day sunday oh, drive right. day saturday we're gonna wheel monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday with oh. one night we're gonna do a night trail on fins nice. that's the only things we know there's gonna be a night run through fins and, um, and the week you're there, it's uh, the full moon. That, yeah. But it's also stormy weather, so the temperature will be way better, but maybe cloudy. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know we're supposed to have Even in Phoenix. Weather. You know, it's that whole East Coast, Florida yep. storm system. I think hurricanes. the whole country is a little cooler next week. Dude, we should be on Hell's Revenge at night in the rain. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking, so it doesn't matter. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna run poison yeah, spider till, till you fall and roll down it. I know, right? <laughs> I, so, dude, that'd be a good story. You you could open a story by saying I rolled down go, down hell, down as uh, I'm rolling physically. Hell's revenge, and they're <laughs> like, oh my god, what happened? Like, oh, well, I hit my elbow. Clickbait. You know, like yeah, clickbait it. There you go. Ah, uh, that's funny, dude. Maybe just maybe just pat up. Or see pillows? one of the tell tell Steve, dude, drive your Jeep down in that that big ass hot tub, you know? Like it's only got a little bit of water, and he goes in there and just buries the whole Jeep. Uh, no. That'd be crazy, bro. You can't do that. Crazy. So yeah, we're gonna do poison spider, gold bar rim, hell's revenge, cliffhanger, moab rim, metal masher, steel bender, fins and things. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'll but like we need to mix something because Hell's Revenge isn't that long. We need to put two of these together, and I don't know which ones Ooh. can go together. But that's a good group discussion. Yeah. Like what you can, you guys can sort that out in Moab at the nice house with a carport with showers. Yeah. No tents. Damn. I'm bringing my tent. Dude, I am just in case up. those guys get all rambunctious and I want to oh. sleep. Oh yeah. Dude, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But dude, then I'd be scared. They're going to come out to the tent. Right. I would, I would come out tent? to the tent. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> if I was fucking, if somebody was in the backyard dude. tenting, I'd be fucking with them constantly. I was going to say, you're lucky. I'm not going. <laughs> I would find a bear mask and claws and start like hovering on your tent and start fucking with it. But then Scratches. I'd also be scared. You're just going to unload on me. Yeah. Right. Like, we like all, a, we are like all a weapon. fully loaded. Without um, a doubt. 
Maybe I would say, maybe I'd have to like be like, hey, this is a prank. And then I'm going to, and then I would be a bear and like. I wonder if we can shoot up there because I know like my boy's bringing his new, and he built, no. built a gun and I just built a gun and we're going to try to shoot him. I don't cool. know. We'll you, see. I know. I'm pretty sure Steve's going to look into that too. Yeah. Because he looked pretty interested at our last meeting. Yeah. Our official meeting of the meetings. Yeah. We, <laughs> we had a big meeting to name off the trail names. That was pretty funny. But so, yeah, so that's the plan. This is going to be a short podcast because really everybody's just in a mad dash. <laughs> everybody's in a mad goes, dash. I know. What is timer. that? What is that <laughs> garbage, dude? <laughs> oh, wow. That's Every, better. <laughs> oh, there we go. Seven minutes in. Damn. We're all worried already. It's like an hour. But yeah, so it was just been a mad dash. Everybody It's funny because everybody went out on a, a last minute run yeah. and half the group broke. Well, a pre-run because people are have put, they've done like some upgrades. They've done... Right. They want to be certain everything's running good, and and a lot of people had issues. Yeah, everybody, yeah, like half yeah. the group, they said we're yeah. having issues. So now no one's wheeling until they get to Moab. So which is, that's one week. Yeah, no one's wheeling the weekdays of the weekend before Moab. Right, it's funny though. Like it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's not much, but it's funny because everybody's like, "Am I shit staying on pavement until that happens?" So yeah, so this is going to be fairly quick because we don't have a whole lot to talk about. Yeah, but um, what else we got up there? We still have some tips from the ladies. Oh, it's the tips for the ladies. I I got a good question. Oh, just a tip for the ladies. I got a. When you're ready, yep. let's go over the let's go over the suggestions and everything first. When you're ready, we need to create a tip for a lady. She questioned us ascend. What? <laughs> she sent us a question. A lady sent us a question because right. she needs advice. So you got to on the spot. Me and you both on the spot got to tell her some advice for right. her question. So I'm no, trying to think which one it is. You don't know. That we talked about. You oh, don't I don't know. Mm-mm. Oh, you. Oh, oh, you yeah. Because it took you an hour to come to the meeting. Oh. So you missed a lot of the info. Nice. Because I have a job. I'm a regular job guy. All right, mm-hmm. cool. So let's open this up with just a tip for the ladies. Yeah. That's right, baby. I got to have that place to put the music. So Right here? <laughs> my little stripper right. music. So a couple things. A nice lady commented, but I don't know her name because I'm a moron. <laughs> but she said, and no, no, remember she wanted to be anonymous. Wink, okay. wink. All right. Because that's we. Yeah. So, anyways, she was on the Jeep Dirt and Drive with okay. our first episode. Steve had talked about her breaking down on the first day, and yeah, we can get to one of the videos. Go to the first one and see or second one. Anyway, she had asked, "Is it common knowledge?" That when on a trail, the guys will pee to one side and the ladies will pee to the other side. Because apparently, Rick Payway said that mm-hmm. for that trail, all ladies, re- you know, relieve yourselves to this side, and all the guys go to that side. But I've asked around a bunch of times, and no one has ever heard of yeah. that. I wonder if they created that for a trip where there's a hundred jeeps yeah. and there's tons of men and women, and they're just going in every direction, like right, like animals. You know? What do you normally do? Um, I us- usually when we stop, everyone kind of gets together in a little group. And let's say I got to pee. I just go behind like a couple of vehicles or my vehicle usually. Yeah, or even and to then the, the front. group's kind of over here. You don't even have to say anything. I just walk over and like pee and then I walk back. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So and not, not left, right and front, back, totally like to where I'm at and where my vehicle's at because it could be different every single time you stop. I generally get out, walk to the very front and start peeing under the radiator like right in there and if anybody walks by, just yell out, hey, dude, I'm peeing. I think many times you've actually said like, I'm just draining my radiator. No, 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 no. Uh, Winch. I'm draining my winch real quick. Draining my winch. uh, You don't want the condensation buildup. Right, right. It's very yellow usually. So, but I did put out that question again to another female wheeler. Okay. This time I asked Bella Jeep Girl on oh. Instagram. Oh. Some of you might know her. Some of you might follow her. She's got a lot of followers on Instagram. She's a very, she's very, actually, she's really inspirational if you do want to follow her page. Um, she does a lot of working out, self help, you know, things like that. And um, what color is the Jeep she drives? It's white. Oh, white. Yeah. She was on that, that show, the tr- uh, Tough Truck America or whatever. Tough Truck Challenge. Or, yeah. Yeah. America. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, I think she was With on the, the announcers, first the, episode. The, um, the race car guy announcers are all like old school dudes. Yep. 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 Pistol Pete and all that. Well, exactly. Yeah, one exactly. of them passed away, right? Pistol Pete. Yep. Oh. He's the one that, one. that died. Okay. But, and then it had like Glenn Plake, which was crazy because I was like, who's this crazy old dude yeah. with the purple hair? 
Then they yeah. said his name was Glenn Plake, and I'm like, dude, I used to follow that guy as a skier when he had a huge mohawk back when I was a little kid, man. Damn. Yeah, I was tripping out by that. I was like, all of a sudden, the guy became cool again. So, but anyway. So what's our advice, though? Well, I asked her. Oh. I was asking her, like, okay, this is for drivers, female drivers. And she has, there has to be an intimidation factor when you're a woman. To go pee? To, no, to go oh. driving the first time with a oh. group of guys, yeah. right? And you don't know the trail. You're still learning. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so I, that's what I was getting at. Like, what, what, what is something you could overcome or what's a tip for you? And she basically, you know, like, ha, ha, I guess what would a woman do, you know, like the first time? Not to be intimidated. Because I could see guys trying to put them in scary positions just to scare them um, for no reason. I think no matter what, man or woman... In the beginning, when you go out, it's intimidating. You yeah. Uh, so I think it's just part of the experience and learning. And well, what's funny about that is we were talking earlier tonight. What we feel is comfortable now yeah. might be scary as hell yes. to a brand new person. Yes. Yeah. And they might be thinking these guys are just messing with me. Yeah. So, but Bella, I don't know her her actual real name. I just know her Instagram name. But it's Bella. Bella. We'll, we'll just roll with that. Yeah. Bella Jeep Girl. Hey, if it's on the internet, it's real. Right. Or true. That's right. It's clearly true. It came from the internet. Yeah. But she said um, her first tip would be actually to the ladies, don't get Im- t- intimidated. Do what you're comfortable with and stick to the guns. Um, you know your rig best. They don't. Then prove them, wrong, prove them wrong by showing them you can do it, which is good advice. Nice. I have a... There's some maniacs out there, though, that aren't afraid of anything. Right? I know. Like, you're clearly one of them. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> I wonder if some females are out there just didn't know. I would say my old ass opinion would be like they don't know better. Yeah. But I mean, heck, if you don't, if you're crazy, you know, you go for it. But but this is actually another good point. No matter what, when someone is spotting you, you are still in control of the vehicle. Yeah, you have the final say. You feel what that thing is doing. Yeah. Because we talked today, like we have a guy Huck who's a really good wheeler. Guy's mm-hmm. crazy, part of the Undertakers. And he was with, he was spotting me through, and I stopped, and he went, "Oh, thank God you stopped! I thought you were going over." And I was like, "Dude, what yeah. the hell?" Yeah. But it still boils down to the driver. You feel it, you do it. So, and we talked about this a little bit before for when I broke on Payson, and everybody was dead set on going up the rest of the obstacle, and in the end, I stopped it and said, "No, I'm going to back out," yeah. and it worked flawlessly. I think we talked about it, and we talked. I know yeah, we talked about on it on the Payson yeah. one. Yeah. So just listen to that one. So then I asked her about peeing, if she had ever heard the thing, pee to the left, pee to yeah. the right. And she said no. She's never heard of it either. Um, but she says normally she just either goes to the front of the group or to the back, and she just announces, like what, I'm going to take a piss up here. Everybody, Like what back. we said, yeah. Exactly. So I think that I think you're right. I think it's the large groups, and Rick might have mm-hmm. came up with that for that Which moment. would be a good plan. When yeah. you have hundreds of Jeeps, yeah. you may have prob- or hundred jeeps right yeah that's what <laughs> you it just was. need it was to you just need to make one rule and stick to it and that way no because i'm sure when you get that many people involved i'm sure eventually someone's be like oh well, this guy was doing this you know like and you get complaints you yeah. get, and if there's dead set rules just follow the rules yeah so you, who knows so trip. maybe for a tip if you guys are in a big ass group yeah somebody can say hey man ladies yeah. to the left guys in the to driver's the right. meeting yeah have a little meeting if exactly. you want we don't ever do it. Was it was funny. I tried to bring up, are we going to have a driver's meeting for this? You know, because I was looking for nah. how to film the story. Oh. And they said, oh, we know all each other. We ain't going to have a driver's meeting. No, but you you could do it specifically to help with the filming aspect. I would think so. Otherwise, and it doesn't have to be a driver's meeting about driving. It'd be like, hey, since I'm filming, like, if someone gets to an obstacle and I'm not in the front of the group, like, please wait for me. Yeah. And and everyone's got radios. Well, there has to be. radio a- you. Yeah, and and say, hey, Mike, uh, this is a really cool one. Come, even if you don't film it, they could say, hey, come check it out, dude. It doesn't matter how well we know each other. Yeah, if I take off and need gas and don't tell anybody, yeah, yeah <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean. Right? Like, exactly. we should be like, all right, we're gonna roll out of here. Yeah. We're gonna grab some gas and then we're gonna book nice. to this trailhead. We're gonna air down and go. Do you still have a really good handheld radio? Mm-hmm. Okay, I was gonna say I got, I got two. If you need to borrow one, we should bring them just in case, though. You can in case there's it. other spotters, or I can give one mm-hmm. to Jared. You know, I I love. Having the handheld radio when the driver has the in de- whatever the built-in radio, yeah, because you can not have to yell and lose your voice like on a long day of spotting someone, or yeah. like if it's a really tough section of a trail and one person is the one spotting everyone, like a lot of people might hear it over their radio, but you don't have to yell it, and the driver doesn't have to do anything but listen, yeah, until he makes a different choice. You know? That's what I'm worried about. Some of these guys, man, they're like 
they're mentioning that I've been there before and they're like, it'd be good to have somebody who's yeah, known yeah, what they're yeah. doing. And I'm like, dude, but I would then tell them straight up, be like, Hey, I'm really not the best spotter for your rig. I don't yeah. know it that well. Yeah. And to do videoing, I can't really be the one spotting you. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't want to spot either. I want to yeah. capture if yeah. something goes wrong. The spotter. <laughs> so, not wrong or I good. Know. You want to but capture yeah. if something goes good. You know, and not only that, again, I'm again, where we had talked, I'm to the point where I don't want to speak up because I want yeah. that guy to figure it out. Just like, yeah. I want to try the obstacle first. And we talked about that too. Like if you're ever caught in a spot, this is just an off tangent thing, but with spotting, if you're ever caught in a spot where you don't know the spotter, he doesn't know you, they don't yeah. know your Jeeps. I'll get out and I'll look at the obstacle and I'll tell that guy, just put my driver's tire or my passenger's tire right here on this line and yep. I'll deal with the rest. That way he doesn't have any responsibility. Mm -hmm. Or no pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Because he might feel super pressured to get you on what he thinks is super right. Questioning whether he's doing yeah. it right or... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because you've even mentioned, and we we will before, you were afraid that I was coming in there too hot and yeah. you would have felt horrible. Yeah, if you if you demolish yeah. the side of your rig. Yeah, exactly. But not that, demolished, but dented or I even mean, flopped. That, that been sucks. Like, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, but yeah. that's and again, that's not nobody's problem. So, um, but bum, bum. So yeah, use those tips for a big thing. And nice. you got any tips? What's I got. Your lady well, tip? we got a question. Go for it. From a nice Instagram lady, Shannon or Sharon. Let's see. <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's the question. Okay. Any tips for women who want to learn to build, work on their own rig, and not aware of their resources? So I would, this lady has, I think she's got a couple Jeeps. I think she's got a JK and a Liberty. Okay. But, um, so I would start with like, maybe she's trying to like upgrade tires, like a lift kit, maybe like her shocks are bad and she's trying to do little upgrades like that. Right. Cause it, 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 it obviously doesn't specify. Read so, that again though. Any tips for women who want to learn to build, work on their own rig, and are not aware of their resources? I don't know what she means by that last part. Well, the, like what res like the resources would be friends that help you build it, like maybe a shop that helps you build it. Kind of like it. how we share like, the bender? Yeah, that, that, that would be a resource. Yeah, I guess if you were in the group and didn't but know one of us had I a I think bender. we're way more hands-on than what a lot of people want to do, including yeah. men and, and women. And mm -hmm. obviously, there's some women who are way more hands-on than us, you know? But um, I think a good tip would be if, you, if you're not comfortable with doing something or you don't know it, definitely don't do it by yourself, right? Right. So, like, when, like when I had my JK and I put one of the first lift kits on it, it was a couple of us. Like, and, and really, none of us were, like, 100% the best mechanic. But between a couple buddies, somebody could help. And then, like, pry the axle down a little more to get that right. new bigger spring in there that you weren't expecting, you know? And, like, so I think that'd be a good tip is don't just tackle it by yourself. And we have several buddies that will work on, um, like, like there's a chick, Lauren, that goes wheeling with us sometimes. And there's a couple guys that always work on people's Jeeps. And they offered her, like, hey, you know, you got some new stuff to put on the Jeep? Come over. We'll help you because yeah. we're already working on a Jeep anyways. Your thing's not that big of a deal. We, we got some experience with it. Yeah. So I think that would be some I I solid would, advice. I would say, too, if you didn't know, like if you were going, okay, I have friends, but none of them will. None of them do this. It's kind of my own gig outside yeah. my little group. I would say get on a Facebook page. Yes. Look at a group. Jump up on a, on an easier trail. You know, look yep. for a one to two trail rating. And then go out with some people and just start talking to them about what you want to do for upgrades. Yeah, exactly. And next thing you know, people will be standing out. Who knows what? You'll be yeah. able to pick up who's, who's done it, who hasn't done it. Yep. And then I think... Um, and you'll learn. You know, yeah. I'm sure eventually you'll run into someone who is full of crap. But yeah. um, maybe maybe it's a mistake that you learn that by. But you'll learn. And, and as time goes on, you'll just be more knowledgeable in, in your own topics. of. The Not team. only that. Like, let's say you have a JK, right? And you got a... a like a rear axle, like a Dana 30 axle. I don't even know yeah. what's in the back of those. 44. So, 44? Okay. So let's say it breaks. Some other guy's breaks, but he's got the same axle you do. Yeah. You can literally get up, pay attention, and watch what he just did. Exactly. And learn from that, you know. And and it's very popular to have a JK in this day and age on the trail. Yeah, I'd say it's so, almost most yeah. likely that there's one out there. I think the biggest one is going to be JKs. Then it's Liberties. Then it's probably really? TJs. Oh, yeah. You think a Liberty above a TJ? Oh, yeah. All day. No. Um, I think that's below the LJs. <laughs> hey, there's I mean, at they're least... They're definitely coming around. Hey, though. we know there's at least three in Phoenix that wheel. You're seeing a hell of a lot more. I'll tell you yeah. that. I don't yeah. know if it's... Oh. 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 Hey, dude. What's this? Have you seen... 
I always want to bring up a new Instagrammer, right? Oh. But I happen to go across. Tell me, tell me who it is and I'll look it up. Mini Honey Badger. Hang on. Okay. Might be Mini Badger. That it, sounds, is it a white and green Jeep? No, it's black. It's a Mini Cooper with an uh, LS in it that's whoa. decked out on off-road vehicles. Like it, it's, Mini Badger. Here we go. It is dope. Dude. No, this is, this is, this is like no, that's, kids that's, clothing. That's, that's, what that's are you doing? Clothing. Get off that pedophile stuff. That's another lady. Here, mini badger hashtags. Maybe it'll pop up. And this is all babies. Um, God, I should have done this earlier. My bad, bros. Oh, did you say mini honey badger? Yeah, uh, I should have listened. Okay, I got it. Damn, isn't that sweet? Stretched, all black, two door mini Cooper. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what size wheels, but they they look moderately big. Dude, it is so cool. And then, yeah, he's got an Ellis in it. And somewhere going through, I was going through his whole build page today, and he said. Where's his build page at? Oh, it's so at it's the IFS bottom. front and rear. Yeah. No, is yeah, it? Yeah. It looks sick. And it says, when everyone tells you you're doing it wrong, get rid yeah. of those friends. You don't need that kind of negativity. That's awesome. That's what we experienced. <laughs> Dude, it is badass. So and, and what's it, what's his page actually called? Mini Honey Badger. Yeah. All one word. Yeah, I love that. M-I-N-I-H-O-N-E-Y-B-A-D-G-E-R. For those of us that can't spell like Good me. job, dude. Yeah. Mini Honey Badger. That thing is sick. Yeah. All black Mini Cooper, white roof, two door. Yeah. The wheels are raked out on the side of it. It looks it, like it would haul ass and yeah. rock crawl. It almost looks like a, um, like partially, like kind of like how a sand rail would be built, yeah. right? The suspension. Yeah. Lo- I mean, a little. It makes right? you want to go fast. I, I'm huh? making a comparison. Looking at it. Damn. Makes- look it, at the engine bay. Dude. And his work is impeccable, too. You ought to Whoa. see what he did to it. It's really. I spent like too much time watching this looking is, at that today. This is where I wish like we were in the Matrix and yeah. you could like download knowledge, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. And dude, I'd 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 build yeah. I would put I would build this engine. Yeah. I don't know how many times it took to say that. Oh, he's got a dog. That's cool. Yep. He's got a truck. If that you makes like sense. Dogs, you're in. The dog is in the car. Cool. That's a blurry photo. Okay. Oh, full hydro. Yeah. Full hydro steering. Full hydraulic steering. I guess you'd have to. How would you cram an L S into a Mini dude, Cooper, like dude. this. There's one inch between the <laughs> b- the front of the motor, that pulley, the radiator, yeah. and the hydraulic assist is in a nook. Yeah, barely. Whoa. The only spot left, right? This is cool. I I like this. Me like too. we. Yeah. So maybe me and you will start finding like. You find one, and I'll find really one. We'll cool bring pages. it up every time. Yeah. yeah, dude, he's got a whole rear tire uh, carrier. I also saw another one today that was a, a black Cadillac, but we'll save that for the next time. Nice. Like a Cadillac SVT. That's yeah. all off-road and decked out. It that's is awesome. Dope. So, yeah. Good job, buddy. Wow. I don't know who your name is, but damn yeah. good job. Very cool. Oh, uh, you know, I should have clicked follow. Yeah, right. You're <laughs> on it. <laughs> well, let me go. You know, right. I'll do it after do the podcast. We're, we're in the midst of working. Yeah. Speaking of Instagram, podcast. though, dude, your little fucking mouthy Jeep yeah, things. Yeah, those are funny. I huh? never laugh so freaking hard, bro. So that app is called because we're not here to i feel like, like all we do is promote shit but we're not getting paid for any of this stuff by the my, way it's only my we, talking pets yeah my talking pets hey guys will you guys please tell max quit stalling on an obstacle i mean come on you know what a clutch is for bro apparently not hey guys it's my name's sandbox i uh i'm new i just got big old axles and tires um, it's wet. It's cold. Um, I I should probably be in Arizona wheeling. Uh, yeah. What's what's up with my owner? What the hell? Hey guys, it's a survival jeep, bro. This is Mike's jeep. No matter what, I got Mike's back. I'll take him out. Intruder! Intruder! Left! Right! Just training with you guys to make sure everyone's on task. All right. Uh, gas tank is full. No problem. Secret stuff in the jeep. No problem. Rice beans instapot no problem mike you just hit the wheel i'll hit the road hey daryl i know you're looking at this photo a lot i got the best flex in town oh yeah good job man thank you for upgrading me badass tires i like it hey mike it's your jeep i noticed you put really big tires on here how about a 60 man come on i'm like 60 years old help me out whose idea was it to put 39 inch tires. Oh. A little confusing at the beginning. Yeah. I haven't been able to get it to work it, yet. It took me like three or four to figure out that the eyes and the eyebrows move. And it, it's it's looking at your face when you talk. Yeah. And then you can put the mouth anywhere. Like I, I could make a turd talk with this app. Dude, 
But I used Jeeps. The shit, it was funny. I don't know how you went into character for each one of our Jeeps, but you nailed the personalities Dude, of barely, the Jeeps. Barely, though. Barely. Like, I definitely, it was Sandbox's Jeep. I did more like... So I laughed pretty hard. It was like a little day. more... Hi, guys. I'm maybe Sandbox. like Western, like a farm know. guy a little more. I don't know It why. sounded like a little intimidated dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dude, the rest is honestly my normal. It's my, all of them are my, fairly my normal it voice. It sounded like. Sped up or slowed down and high pitched or deep. And it's all yeah. combinations of these two settings. And that's it. When I looked at Sandbox, I was like, this sounds like a Mexican dude that's really <laughs> aggressive on Facebook, but really yeah. timid in front, in person. And that's him in a way. <laughs> Like when we like now we know him a little bit better. Yeah, he's cool. But um, he only comes here on holidays because he lives in Oregon. Yeah, he's a cool ass dude, dude. Somewhere, P- but his P- person W wait P- PNW. He's like yeah Pacific Northwest. Yeah, he's but he's like Robert Palafox, the yeah. evil one. Jk, he's a keyboard hero, dude. No keyboard <laughs> warrior. God, I got you. No, bro. but yeah, but not a dick in any means. Yeah. Just funnier and shit, outrageous. You would think that dude's personality is way over the top, and then yeah. you meet him, he's like super polite, and he's yeah. like. Oh, hey, Dad. stands up straight. Hey, man, do you remember? Hey, what are you doing? It's hey. like super nice. I'm Javier. Right. Hey, guys. Just be normal, um, dudes. Let's shake hands. Yeah. I use CAD design. <laughs> CAD design. That's what it's like. I yeah. spend my entire day. That's what day, he does. My entire day in IT. Because that's Robert. On the IT? <laughs> he's IT. Oh. But he's fucking obnoxious on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> I've seen Robert loosen I up, too, though. Guy, though. I've seen Robert, like, flat out laughing, being loud in person. He's always super polite to me yeah. in person, you know. Well, okay, yeah, because you... S- oh, yeah. You whooped his ass that one time. No, I didn't whip his ass. <laughs> it was a... Ref- so apparently, I slapped him. <laughs> but it was... It had to be a reaction. I felt horrible when he told me I that. I think he... Well, because he told us this the other day. I think he said he was going for your... For your Titties. Like your body or you know, give me like, a titty twister, dude. And yeah. I smacked him out of like <laughs> but his reaction, dude. I didn't know I was doing that. That's funny. And that was years ago. That must have been four years ago. I didn't even remember it. I, I didn't remember. Yeah, I like, don't even know if I was hey, there. Remember when you slapped me? I'm like oh. Robert will have to comment and tell us who was there. We gotta get that what crazy fucker the, in here. I know. I know I'm cussing a lot this time, but Oh, we can say he's the next one Instagram promoter guy. No, but we can't promote. Well, I guess we Robert? could promote the ones we already know. But yeah. I'm trying to find brand new guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Good we could do that too. Yeah, we won't say Roberts. We don't yeah. want no one to follow. Don't him. follow Evil One JK. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's crazy. You know where I met that cat? I should wait for him. Yeah, we're both standing at the bottom of Anaconda, de- contemplating Whoa. if we should go up there. But neither one of us knew each other, yeah. and we didn't know if we could trust each other to go up it. Yeah. So we we didn't. But. That's it. And now he's done it a hundred times. Yeah. You've done it I'd follow that two guy. handfuls of times. I'd follow that guy anywhere. Nice. So, yeah, he's a nut. I like now, that his guy. video that I made was super... I thought it was super funny because yeah. it's basically his Jeep's like... It needs help. Uh, it's like dying and needs help. And yeah. then... And his, oh, whatever, man, whatever it takes, bro. I'll, I'll go up that obstacle. You just, just didn't want to get beat anymore. Just don't, <laughs> don't beat me to death. <laughs> or the, what was funny about that is when you said... When you said... Um, yeah, it's not the only line, Mitzi, or whatever, to <laughs> yeah, his wife. A, you know, he's always like, telling his wife, this is the only way we can go. Because <laughs> that's he got a couple of good dents like that. Hell yeah, right? Like, you have to go through the crack. She's like, yeah. what's this road right here? <laughs> no, this is the only way. And he flops it into the crack. So that was good, though. Good job, Robert. And his kid. His kid's well, dope. Well, we covered... You're going to Moab. We covered that next week's footage is all going to be different. The podcast... The whole setup's going to be a little bit different for next week. Yeah. Um it'll yeah. it'll partially be a surprise. Stay tuned. Yeah, we don't know what it's gonna be like. The yeah. audio will probably not be nowhere near as good. Yeah. And it will be on location and nice. Who knows where it comes out. But yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get you phoned in one day. That'd be cool. I don't know. We'll see. I'll I'll have to pencil you guys in. Yeah. See what's going on in my busy life. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just working. Well, I gotta work. I'm on Instagram making dog faces. Yeah. Talk. That's it. That's that's all we got today. Yeah, man. Cool. Easy. And then obviously we're going to have a ton of good stuff to talk about. Yeah. After the fact. After the I fact. I mean, we can insane. go over. We don't know what we're going to go we should, over. We should have guest after guest after yeah. guest or whatever we got to yeah. do from there's there like on. ten people going on this trip. Yeah, it's going to be dope, man. It'll be well, cool, and I'll be able to find a bunch of trails that I could do safely without death involved. And yeah, I'm actually really, really excited to get back, which is crazy. But the, oh, you're really excited to get back to Moab or back yeah. to Phoenix? No, back to Moab. Oh, I'm yeah, actually yeah, shocked yeah. by that. You know, it is hard though watching like um, Jim and all those guys out of the chat out of the fucking Rubicon right now. God, I'd love this to morning they took off from Ice House uh, Ice House Road or whatever. Yeah, it was, was funny because they kept posting all those pictures of them parked. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> this let's get willing, man. What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Enough with the pictures. Get in there. Uh-huh. Let's go. Maybe that's maybe that's their style. <laughs> maybe they went there 
to have a meet and greet. Right. Shake hands, take photos, and then now that they're packing it up and going home. Right. No, I'm kidding. Well, no inserts today, guys. I think we're done. Easy. All right, buddy. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Max Maximum. <laughs> max underscore Max underscore Maximum. Oh, Maximum underscore Max underscore Max. Nice. Me at Keep It Simple Off Road all over everywhere. everywhere. Yep. Instagram, YouTube, not Twitter because Twitter sucks. And all the other good stuff. Listen to us on Inst- Instagram. No, listen to us on iTunes. There you go. Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play. YouTube, there's usually a video. Yeah. The videos, if we ever make, well, I know we make a bunch of mistakes in this because I fix them on the YouTube video usually. Nice. So if you're bored and you want to see some funny comedy BS, go look at the YouTube show. And watch it more than 30 seconds. You know, yeah, we, we yeah. see the analytics. I got the analytics, buddy. Six you minutes know. on an hour episode is not enough. Let's go. Let's <laughs> get more. Minutes. Yeah. And more female listeners. I'm not wasting my time with yeah. these uh, ladies. Oh, tips. no, wait, wait, wait. Female listeners that are logged into a profile that says they're a female listener. Yeah. So it shows up on our analytics. Yeah, somehow it said that there was no female listeners. Zero. But, but I thanks br- all you I, fools from California. I brought that up to a couple <laughs> people who are female. And they're like, I've seen it. I've watched it. Yeah, it so they're not 100% sense. accurate. Yeah. So we can't cancel just the tip yeah yeah we're not canceling we got a lot of feedback on just the tip yeah. they actually like it the ladies like it whisper out to the ladies oh that was, good. That cool. was a good one alright I'm done you're See done you guys. peace out <laughs>